What's happening, everybody? It's time for another free baseball pick. We're talking the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox this Wednesday, June the 22nd. My name's Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays. And don't forget about our sponsor, Caesar Sportsbook. They've got a great deal for all new accounts, up to $1,500 in a risk-free first bet. All you've got to do is use that promo code MORNING15 or check out the description of this video and click on the link. Get yourself signed up with Caesars. With me today, I've got expert handicapper Ross Benjamin here to give us another free baseball pick. What's happening, Ross? It's all good. It's 88 degrees uh, up here in western New York, uh, which I'm sure doesn't phase you guys at all. But for this climate and this area of neck of the woods, it's pretty good weather. Yeah, oh, we would love an 88 degrees. <laughs> Don't think for a second we would not love 88 degrees here in Los Angeles. It's 88 degrees at like midnight here. Yeah, but the difference is, is the humidity here is much higher. So our 88 probably is going to feel pretty close to your 118, you know? So. Yeah. Well, our 118 feels a lot like being in a kiln. So what's the temperature <laughs> there now? Just out of curiosity. I want to say, I'm going to go like with a it's triple digits 11 22 in the morning it'll be 107 today i think ah, okay is the deal is. Um, yeah. now i'm all looking it up las vegas <laughs> weather <laughs> this is a sports betting program folks <laughs> right now it's 91 degrees we will yeah. hit a high of 100 today though so that's how we roll right. um, so let's talk baseball we got the tigers they're starting a scuba red Sox are starting waka Total on this one's eight and a half, and the Red Sox are favored at a minus 135. So which way are we going on this one, Ross? You know, I'm going to go against my boy, the irrepressible, the unreplaceable Detroit Lenny. He's going to be upset with my pick here. So uh, Tariq Skubal, I really like him. Um, he's right now seven and six, and his team starts with an ERA under three. Uh, and any other team that could at least hit uh, which Detroit shows very little ability to do. He'd probably be a lot better record. What concerns me with Scooble is he seemed to hit the wall in his last two starts. Uh, nine earned runs and nine innings pitched during those start, uh, starts excuse me, with a uh, very alarmingly high 211 whip during that time. And a Detroit bullpen, which has been on and off all season long, it's been off over the last seven games with a 546 ERA and a 154 whip. Uh, the Tigers haven't been very good on the road, Ellie. As a matter of fact, they're 7 and 18 in their last 25 on the road. And they're about to face a uh, pit starting pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, who's been around for a while, Michael Waka, the veteran right hander. And he's sort of flown under the radar because uh, Boston isn't getting a lot of the headlines in the AL East these days. And, uh, but anyway, uh, four and one with his team starts at home with a 103 ERA and an 095 whip. Uh, not only at home, he's pitching well on the road as well, as indicated uh, by his 11 starts this season with a 228 ERA. And his last four starts overall, a 148 ERA and an 095 whip. Folks, that's getting it done. Uh, the Red Sox have won 14 of their last 18. Detroit has lost seven of their last nine. And this is also a Boston team that's gone 12 and four against left handed starting pitchers this year, which Tariq Skubal is. And the Red Sox have uh, already taken four of five from Detroit, including game one of this series. So I'm going to go with Boston here, Ellie, minus the 135. Now, there's a possibility because we're taping 24 hours in advance this line will go up. If that indeed happens, uh, I would say anything 145 or more, shift your focus to the run line. Or what I like to tell my clients, if you don't want to bet the run line, then if you normally would bet to win $100 on Boston, which would be 135 to 100, and I'm being hypothetical here, then um, just wager a risk the $100 if it's a higher number, like 145 or, or, or better. But I would definitely hope that it would stay within this parameter so we could just bet a money line play. But if not, if it gets up there, uh, don't be afraid to use the run line and get plus money here. 
All right. I like where you're going with it. I was kind of looking towards an under. Tigers, like you said, have had a hard time hitting the ball. They're 24, 41, and two to the under. Boston, 26, 34, and eight to the under. So I was kind of looking for this one to stay under the eight and a half runs. If that moves down to an eight, that kind of confirms my play. So I'm a fan of that. Um, that's the way we're going to roll with this one. Ross, if people are looking to buy your best bets, those premium money making plays over at picksandparlays.net. Um, they're going to go to picksandparlays.net, click on Ross Benjamin, and what are they going to find there, Ross? They're going to find that uh, my Major League Baseball plays are starting to heat up. Ali, 3-1 and one last night in Major League Baseball at picksandparlays.net, 13-7 and seven over my last 20. Uh, also, my Major League Baseball 10-star top plays since the start of last season, 47-25 and 25 with those plays, 65%. And a thousand dollar a game players up twenty one thousand dollars one hundred with twenty one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars, Ellie. Not bad over that Not course of time. All. And all my ten star top plays in all sports since April first uh, on a thirty six and nineteen winning run, also sixty five percent. And dime players have made a profit of sixteen thousand one hundred and seventy dollars during that time. It's picksandparleys.net. My name's Ross Benjamin. What are you waiting for? Let's make some money. Let's make some money, honey. So check out Ross Benjamin at the site and use the promo code NHL. That's going to save you 20% on whatever you purchase from Ross. A little extra added value there for you. Until then, Ross is going to roll with the Red Sox on the money line when they take on the Tigers this Saturday, or sorry, this Wednesday. I'm going with it under eight and a half runs. Good luck, everyone.